Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I've laid down a layer of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and I'm going to do a second attempt at a cupping and covering technique that I learned by watching um, a collaboration between Heather Mader, M-A-D-E-R, and um, Heartfelt Artistry Lamb, L-A-M. And um, I would suggest that you check out their channels for uh, their paintings they did together on that collaboration. They turned out really, really nice. Um, Heartfelt Artistry Lamb, uh, she's the one who started this technique, and I think it's just a really wonderful technique. Um, I did it in my last video, and I'm giving it another try here today with a little bit bigger canvas. And I'm, I went back after doing that first painting, and I watched both Heather and Lamb's um, videos, and I discovered that I, I was doing a few things I wouldn't say wrong, different, and I would like to try and get back to the way they did it. So um, that's my plan today. Um, I'm not going to go over all the colors that I've used. I've already put them in my cup. I'm just going to do um, a, a circular pour here, a dirty cup pour, and then um, I will have another cup of paint that has the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and then a very pale yellow that I made up. Those two colors are in my cup and I'm gonna put that on top of the first layer. So um, in my description, I have all the paints I'm using. My pouring medium though is a little bit different. You, I use six ounces of Floetrol and three ounces of Mod Podge and then an ounce of GAC 800, mixed that up, and then I mixed it with my paints. A little more, it was about two parts of the pouring medium to one part paint. So let's get started. Just a, I'm gonna try a ring pour here. No silicone is added to these paints. The paints are a little bit thicker One thing you'll find with using the Mod Podge is you will get a lot of air bubbles. So you do need to um, torch those or heat those. Some of the colors I can go over, I've, I have a medium blue in here, a very light, uh, very light green, a coral color, a peach color, Oh, and I have gold too. I have Arteza gold in this. I think that's really my only metallic is the Arteza gold. Okay, now I'm going to just torch this a little bit. And now I'm going to just drizzle my, my white paint over the top of the other paint and cover it.
And as you can see, I'm allowing some of that original paint, the first layer to poke through. I didn't cover everything. And I'm gonna torch again. And now I'm gonna tip. And I'm pretty sure I have plenty of paint. For this painting. And hopefully you can see most of the tipping. I do have something ordered for my tripod, waiting for it to come to help with um, viewing when I tip. So hopefully that will be here soon. I hope everyone is enjoying watching these videos also. I, I really like learning new techniques. And so if you get a chance, I really suggest you go to Heather and Lance uh, channels and I will list them in the description. And I will bring it more towards the center again. Okay. Just clean off the bottom here a little bit with my hands. And before I get started with the cup, and I'm not sure yet if I will do some balloon uh, kisses or balloon rolls. We'll have to see how this turns out. But I will torch it again. You can see a lot of air bubbles. It is important to try and get your all of your paint the same consistency. And I would say the paint should be the consistency of like a regular ring pour, maybe a little bit thicker than that, but not too much. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cup and I'm just going to push it down and I'm just going to play with the paint a little bit, twirling it around, just giving it giving, giving it that added attraction or more to look at, not so plain. This is just one of the ways you can do it is just put your cup down and turn it. And you're bringing up that paint from underneath. And another thing I like to do is just take it and I am cleaning the rim of my cup off after I use it. And when you when you take your cup and you're gliding it through your paint, you can go down to the um the surface of the canvas and you don't want that canvas to show 
but mostly your paint is thick enough on your canvas that it should fill back in. You can get quite creative. Or you can just lightly go over the top if you prefer that. And you can make it as simple as you want or as busy as you like. I'm trying to vary the thickness and the thinness of the stripes that I'm putting through the painting. This is a very fun technique to do. And you can use uh, different size cups. I have a small cup here. And I think what I'm going to do, because I have so much of this, the light yellow and the white, I'm going to tip off some of the paint down this way, just to help with that composition and to spread that paint out a little more. I want to get some of the blue intermingled a little better. And plus I have a lot of paint yet on my canvas that I can afford to, to take some off. And I'm bring it down this way. Okay, it's a little better. I have that, the colors a little more evenly dispersed there. I'm more happy with that. Okay. And now I'm going to do a little bit of the cupping again. Go back to my, my bigger cup here.
Okay, I think I like that. I'm gonna do a little bit more torching. And now I think I will try a few um, balloon kisses in this. I have my water-filled balloon, and then I just have a real little balloon. I'm not sure I'll need the bigger balloon yet, but um, let's see what we have here. I'll just show you how you can add these balloon kisses for... And just added attraction to your painting, another dimension. And one thing you'll find if you're if you're used to doing balloon kisses, when you use this Mod Podge, it's it's thicker, and you can do your. Um, balloon kisses and your balloon rolls a little bit earlier than you normally would with let's just say float trowel or your glue and water for your pouring medium it has a little more viscosity to it so it it allows you to um, do your balloon kisses and your balloon rolls a little bit earlier there's still a lot of paint on here and it's still It, it still does, when I make the balloon kiss, the, the paint does go back into that area. So what you can do, and what I probably will do, is um, give this paint a little time to dry, and then come back a little later and add some more balloon kisses or some balloon rolls after it's partially dried and uh, see what kind of effect I can get. So what I'll do is I will pause the, um, the camera in the video and we'll bring you back later and you can see what I added balloon kisses and balloon rolls to this painting and give you the final result. So we'll be back. Hi everybody, it's Deb again. I've been working a while on this painting. It's been about 45 minutes and I wanted to explain what I did. I felt that it was a little bit too plain so I wanted to bring out more of the blue. So what I did is I just took some of the blue paint with my pouring medium and I put it on this little, this little lid and I took my cup and I want to show you some of the accents that I made. I just put my cup in the blue paint and then I would either cup it or roll it. And as you can see, it brought up a lot or it added a lot more of that blue, which is what I wanted to do. So that is another thing that you can do. I think I should have had a better or more of an accent color underneath than I did, but by doing the blue like I'm doing, I am adding a lot more accent to it. And another thing you can do I wanted to mention is I did take my little balloon and I did dunk it in the blue a little bit. If you do see a spot on your canvas that you have gone down to the, you can see the canvas, you can do a little a balloon kiss on that and it'll fill it in. 
just a little balloon kiss here and there. And it will fill that in. Then you don't have to worry about that. Something like that. So, just wanted to bring you back and show you. I had been working on it a little more. Got a little bit more of the blue color throughout the painting. And I will bring you down for a close-up. And you can tell me what you think. I'm very happy with it now. This is a very fun technique, the cupping and covering technique. And again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And here is the upper left-hand corner. There's some of the blue that I added. And a few little balloon kisses I added in there. And I did take my skewer, you can see it in this area right there, and I just dragged it through some of the paint also to give it a little more accent. A couple more balloon kisses. And this is actually where the blue paint was. Some of this. The lower left-hand corner. And I'll bring you up the middle. Very happy with it. And here is the upper right-hand corner right here. Very pretty. Very subtle. And again, I used my skewer in this area right here. You can see where I drew that paint out just to give it a little more accent. And then here is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.